Hello and welcome to part 14 of my Doctor Who review. Today I'm going to be looking at the new beginnings. Just like last time, this comes right after the eSpace trilogy, so that's why I did the review 13 of the eSpace. And now we 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 can't even say it. review 14 is the new beginnings box set. So it contains Tom Baker and Peter Davison and Anthony Hainley as the new master. I can't say his name, so. Well, I think I might be able to say his name. I think I said it right. But anyway, if I do get it wrong, just 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 bear with me. I'm I'm still trying to. I can't, buddy. You know. Strange. Anyway, come on. Let's let's get out of this over and done with. So BBC DVD, Doctor Who logo. Like I said, you get all three of them here. As the master's the main villain in these three stories, you get the three disc there, the twelve. Then you get the fourth to Doctor Departs and the fifth arrives, and the Master returns in these three classic 1980s adventures. So yes, let's look at the box. Same on the other side. Same on the side. Same on the top. And the bottom. Oops, upside down. Oh wait, no, it isn't. Um, it's 292 minutes approximately. So yes. Keep our tracking, Legopolis, and the Castro Valva. Three fantastic stories. So, let's choose Keep our tracking first, as that came first anyway. So, we've got the Keep our tracking, we've got Tom Baker there, Doctor Who, we've got, um, it reminds me of Sylvester McCoy in that picture, I don't know why, in the, from the Hobbit one. Anyway, carrying on. We've got the statue thing there, we've got PG 12, not 12, um, DVD. Let's see, I can't bloody see myself now. I need to go back to Specsavers. Anyway, Tom Bakes here. Years, 74 to 81. Keep a tracking by Johnny Brin. Get special features here. Quite a bit of special features. You get the, you get a little bit of a blurb about what the story. Then underneath, you get when it came out. And it was on the BBC One between the 31st of January to the 21st of February 1981. And it's 98 minutes long. So yes, um, that's a fantastic story. I recommend the new beginnings right after the space trilogy, as you get to know a bit more about what's just happened. As J jo John Nathan Turner liked to do what they did in the 60s, they carry on a story right after another story. But yeah, it's easy to get into. I like the way that he did that as well. Because he gave Doctor Who a bit of a difference for doing it. Uh, anyway, yeah, PG, fantastic story, and um, not much I can say about that. But it's a fantastic story. Uh, I can't really say much about it because I haven't watched it in a long time. Then we got Lego. Can I say it? Legopolis. We got Tom Baker and Anthony Hendy there. Then we got his future incarnation of Peter Davison there, which will be Peter Davison, I should say. Then we got Twelve. The Tom Baker year 74 to 81, BBC logo, Tom Doctor Who logo. And on the back you get the usual stuff. Doctor Who, Legopolis, starring Tom Baker by Christopher H. Bidman. Bidmed. Then you get usual blurb there. You get your special features here. And then it's like you get the production when it came out. Uh, it also has got here incidental music composed by Paddy Kingsland. And this was this came out on BBC One on the 28th of February to the 21st of March. Um, it's 98 minutes long, and yeah, it's another fantastic, brilliant story. So yes, and now we're moving to Cash of Alva. Peter Davison years 1982 to 84. BBC DVD, Doctor Who, Cash of Alva. You get your usual EU there, Universal for All. Same as before, you get your stuff on the top. Stan Peter Davis and Cash Alvin. Written by Christopher H. Bidbed. Bidbed? Bidmed? Or whatever you want to call it, Bidmead. And you get your usual blurb, special features, commentary, and all that. Then you get all of this uh, produced by John Turner. Then you get the 4th. It was produced between the 4th and the 12th of January. 1982 
Um, it's approximately 96 minutes long, and this is a fantastic story. Uh, a lot of people have put on, on a network called Facebook that this bit here that is in looks very much like an iPod, which it does actually. Uh, anyway, um, that's the only hoover in fact I can give you by that. <laughs> uh, yes, this is a fantastic story, and um, yes, this this is part 13 over and done with. Um, if you're wondering why I'm quite quick with this one, it's because um, I have to be quite quick because I've got to go and do something now. So I'll see you for part, what is it, 14 for Doctor Who reviews. So um, yes, see you soon and bye for now.